What's up everyone, 915Mang here doing a video today. First of all, I hope you guys are having a good one, enjoying the weather, having a good time with your family, enjoying your tanks and everything's going good. Today I got a lot of things to cover. We spent the uh, Memorial Day weekend uh, watching Gabriel Iglesias, um, otherwise known as Fluffy. Dude is funny, go check it out on TV, the Fluffy Breaks Even. Now let's talk about the tanks. I stopped doing a calc washer just because I wanted to have more control of my tank. Um, as you can see that calc washer is good, but it, it's a little bit of a mess. Um, with your tubes, you just got to be on it. Uh, just because my auto top off got clogged up from the calc washer. Not only that, but my return pump with the calc washer, it's uh, calcifying, you know, so I have to clean it, clean out my return pump. Go ahead and talk about my auto top off. This auto top off reservoir is uh, custom made, 20 gallons, um, and so it's hard to get in there and go ahead and clean it out. Um, before in the last video, I was doing testing, and um, you know my numbers were kind of high, uh, and then that's because there's so much calc washer in this uh, auto top off the residue on the bottom. What I've been doing is I stopped adding calc washer to this. Um, it's just using whatever's in there. But it was taking forever, so I started um, putting a return pump in there with the filter sock to try to drain as much out as possible. Don't get me wrong, Calc Washer is a good product, but I want to have a little bit more control over my uh, reef tank parameters. And I'm going to do that by using a two-part from BRS. My tank mainly consumes alkalinity. So instead of buying fish, guys, I just went ahead and printed out a yellow tang. It's going to save me a lot of money. Uh, my next fish that I'm going to print out is a purple tang and then uh, probably a cow fish. One benefit of doing this, guys, is I don't have to worry about quarantine. Um, so I don't have to set up a brand new quarantine tank. And then, two, I don't have to feed the guy. But in all seriousness, the reason I printed it out is to try to take out some of the aggression of the yellow tang. In this uh, tank, I added the yellow tang as the last fish. But this guy is still a bully. Uh, in my reef tank, the 120, it is a bully-free zone, so uh, we won't be having any of that. But if you look at him, you can notice that he is uh, hiding, most definitely checking out the picture. Another thing that he does is he goes to the corner of the tank where he can see his reflection, and he puffs up, and he swims up and down against his uh, reflection. I got the idea from uh, another YouTuber. He's like a serious YouTuber. Uh, he mainly does uh, vlogs, but he's into uh, saltwater aquariums, which is how I got into watching him. But his name is uh, Ryan, and his uh, channel is Life After College. He used to have a nano tank, then he just recently got a white Red Sea uh, series tank, which is pretty awesome, and um, it's funny to watch. So that's where I got the idea from of the uh, yellow tank to try to fight aggression. And uh, you can see this little dude. Uh, the picture, it seems like it's worked, but uh, like I said, you'll still find him in the corner puffing up against his own uh, reflection. Just another quick tip since I'm uh, bringing out Tang Aggression, I watched a video on American Reef Channel um, and they were talking about to feed seaweed often. So that way, one, because the theory was if you feed often that the fish aren't going to be scared that the other fish are going to eat their food because they're going to know that, you know, that they're always going to have food, you know, so that will help curve uh, aggression. And the dude had like, I don't know, he had like multiple yellow tangs in his system. So uh, that's just a quick tip. American Reef Channel, check that out. Um, they disable the comments, so, but I guess they have some kind of website. I, I just check out the videos on on YouTube. I broke down the 45-gallon uh, cube and frag tag combo. I had uh, moved everything into a 20-gallon long. And the reason why, as you can see, is 120 gallons plus 40-gallon sump, 45-gallon plus 10-gallon sump, 10-gallon frag tank, 225 gallons, not including the auto top-off, my 20-gallon auto top-off, and the 10-gallon auto top-off that I have set here. The 20-gallon uh, long that I have set up, um, it's just going to be a temporary tank. I'm looking at another tank, probably going to go with the SCA aquarium tank, uh, the 24 gallon all in one, um, just so that it can have the filtration and it's pretty much just going to be uh, a frag tank. These fish that I've had in there, the uh, two clowns and that uh, chromis, 
And I've been in my 34 gallon Salona. Then from the 34 gallon Salona, I went to a 24 gallon all in one. Then from the 24 gallon all in one, I went to a 20 gallon. And then from that 20 gallon, I went to a 40 breeder. Then 40 breeder to a 45 gallon SCA cube. And then they're back in the 20 gallon. And then they're from there, they're going to go back into a 24 gallon all in one. So I've been through a lot of tanks. Um, these clowns have been through a lot, but uh, I'm not going to get rid of them uh, because I totally considered um, just going back to one tank and keeping the 120 and that's it. The deal on these uh, Rubbermaid trash cans, they have the wheels on the back and the uh, total cost, I paid 20 bucks for both of them. He was using them one to uh, mix salt and the other one to store RO water. Um, basically, I just need one and then the other one will just be for emergencies or anything like that. But uh, the nice thing about this is I can go ahead and mix uh, 10 gallons of salt water um, on the weekend. Before what I was doing is uh, I was just using the 5 gallons one day and then water change and then do another 5 gallons the next day. But now I can kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. I was shopping around the internet looking for some uh, dosing containers. And instead what I did is, um, instead of spending the money on that, because they're about 40-ish dollars or more, uh, I just went to the store, picked up some Voss water bottles, and drilled a hole through the uh, plastic top. Um, it's just a regular plastic top. Drilled a hole, and I'm going to run some airline tubing through there. Get my Jabo doser calibrated and uh, get this alkalinity and my water tank parameters straight. Anyways, guys, we're going to cut it short here. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys take care and have a good one.